G'day guys, Andy Thomas here from Wolf on the Run. Uh, long time no see. Um, I haven't had a chance to make a video recently. I've been busy with work as, as per usual. Um, but on one of my last videos, I spoke about um, the cushioning on the seat. I repadded the seat. I put a gel pad in there, some memory foam, which has been great. Um, three hours, um, really comfortable, not a problem. But I'm just about to endeavor on uh, not a massive trip, just under 3,000 kilometers. I'm um, taking a week off work just to chill out and blow some cobwebs. Um, so I'll put a map up. Um, I'm going from where I live here in Point Cook in Melbourne um, up to Albury, New South Wales, across Narrandera, um, into Hay, Mildura. I'm going to Adelaide, South Australia, round to South End, and then back in through the country. Um, yeah, I planned it out. I'm gonna have two nights in hay camping, um, do a bit of fishing there, which is the middle of the run. Um, as I say, it's about 3,000 kilometers. Um, and as I say, regarding the seat, um, I've looked into the Air Orcs. Um, there's another one as well, so I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But I've, yeah, I'm, I'm with the prices, they're like 250, $300, and you know me, guys, it's like we've gotta do everything at cost effective. Um, so what I've come up with, is um, this item. This is a Cedar Summit. It's a um, self-inflating bed. It's uh, got a good R value and it packs down pretty small. But Cedar Summit actually also do this little seat pad, um, which is again self-inflating, goes up to about 30 mil. Um, so my theory is that I can put this under my net, my um, air vented net on the seat and have an extra bit of cushioning. So we'll try it, we'll blow it up and see how it goes. All right guys, so this is my seat, as you can see. I actually flattened it out. I put a fair bit more padded in there. It's got a memory foam gel inside. Um, memory foam and a gel, I should say. Um, and I put this net on the top, which lets air flow through, stops you sweating. And yeah, really, it's quite comfortable. It's not a drama, as I say, it's a little bit more paddy than the stock seat was and a little bit more flatter. Um, I've got it set on the lower setting for this. So my theory is, because I've padded this up a little bit more and then going again, um, I'll be back at the original height seat. All right, guys, you can see it's, it's quite small. It's about the size of the palm of my hand and it weighs nothing. Um, I'll put a few pictures on here why I'm unwrapping this of the air orcs that's available and the prices and the costs and uh, the other brand and just so you got some idea this seat to summit sell for between 35 and 40 dollars so yeah it's very very cost effective and this is an Iken pad that um, if you're hiking along and you just want to sit down um, you can just throw this out And have a rest. It's also ideal for if you you want to stop at the side of the road and not unpack your chair or anything. You just pull one of your panniers off, drop that on the top of it, and you've got a perfect seat. So that's the the seat of summit. It's a pad. Let's blow it up. Now I've not tried this, so I don't know whether I'm going to put it in there and then blow it up or try and get it in while it's blowed up. But we'll have a go. There you go, that's about, about 30 millimeters. So my theory is, if I just unfold that off there, put that facing down, as I say, I haven't tried it, so I don't know. Work tremendously well. It is a fair bit of air in there as you can see at the minute, but I could loose that down just to give it a bit more comfort. But yeah, theoretically, that's going to work. Um, just to take that bit of pressure off your backside, your bones, your coccyx, whatever. 
So yeah, no more spending two or three hundred dollars on air hooks. That might do you. Okay, so as I say, there's the air hook. There's uh, there's a company called Travelcade. That's a sort of gel pad. You got other ones like wooden beads. It's supposed to stop you getting numbness. And the idea of the beads is to move you around. Um, so you got no pressure spots in one place. Um, there's another one called the Jet Screen Jet Stream Saddle. Um, not sure about these other products. I have heard a lot of people ranting and raving about the the Air Orcs. Um, and obviously the old sheepskin seat. Um, a lot of people go with the, the sheepskin. There we go guys. <coughs> Forty dollars. Have a go. Um, yeah, I have heard people blowing up bladders, like their water bladders and things like that, just to give a bit of air underneath it and a bit more comfort. But you know what? That feels fantastic. Obviously, this is not my riding attire, but um, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Fantastic.